If you would like to use YouTube's brand new end cards or end slates using the brand new end card editor, then stay tuned, watch this video as I show you how. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com, your home for video marketing online. In this video, I'm gonna go through how to set up the brand new end cards or end screens that are gonna be coming to your channel using the end card editor. Now, this brand new feature is to be used instead of annotations on your videos. Now, I've had this functionality on my channel for a couple of weeks, and I've been playing around with it to get the best practices. So let's head on over to the trusty computer as I show you how to set it up and some of the best practices for your videos. To get into the new end screen editor, go to the top right, click on Creator Studio, and then you go into your dashboard. Now, if your video is here, you can click on Edit or else click on Video Manager and select your video there. This is the video here I want to select, so I'm gonna click on Edit. And on the top, instead of annotations, you have now End Screen and Annotations, and it is in beta, so we'll click on that. Now the end card will only be added on the last 20 seconds of your video. So you can see we, this video is 1 minute 48 and the playhead starts at 1.28. So it's taken 20 seconds off that. Now you can have it any time in between that in the last 20 seconds, but it has to be for a minimum of 5 seconds. So you have between 5 and 20 seconds for your end card. Now, if you're adding end cards to a previous video that you've uploaded that has annotations, it will tell you that it is not allowed. So you will see this screen here to tell you end screen elements and annotations can't be used on the same video. And it gives you the option here to unpublish annotations and create an end screen. So on your video, as long as you have no annotations, this is what you will see. So what they've done is they've added this grid here. So this blue line is the safe area where you can add your end cards. On the top, we'll have interactive cards and on the bottom is the play area. Now you can switch these on and off if you want. If you select view, you've got show grid, snap to element and snap to grid. You also have options to use templates. So they have recognized that people want to be able to add these quickly. So they've added a number of templates for you to use. And then you also have the option if you create your own template from a video, you can import it from another video. So to add a video, you click on add element and you have four elements you can add. One is video or playlist. Next is a subscribe button. The next is a link to a channel or another one is a link to an external approved website or merch or other website that YouTube approves. Now you cannot have any of these without at least one video or playlist card. So we click on create. Now in here you have another three options. You have most recent upload, you have best for viewer, and you have choose a video or playlist. Now in my experience, the best one that works is actually best for viewer. What this does is YouTube looks at what the viewer has already looked at, and then it gives them a video based on their viewing habits. So we're gonna add one of these here, then we're gonna click on create element. So now we have this video here. So this is a dynamic video, hence it's got black. If we had selected a specific video, it would give the actual thumbnail. Now we can resize this to there. We can make it smaller again, or we can move this about wherever we want within that grid. So we're just gonna drop that there. Now the next element I'm going to add is a subscribe. So we click on create and that adds it in the top corner there. And again, we can move this around and you can see it's snapping to the grid there as well. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Now another video I can add is to the most recent upload. But if you're smart, you can actually do one better. You can choose a video or playlist. And what I do here is I have all my videos in the most recent uploads. So instead of adding a link to the video, what I do is I select the particular playlist that has my most recent uploads. So here it is, it is YouTube recent. Click on element and add that. 
So this is going to dynamically add the most recent video to that particular playlist. Now you'll see here that we have red here. So if they overlap, they will turn red. So I'm just gonna pop that one there. Like so. Now to preview this, we can just click on preview. Already a subscriber, make sure to click the link right there here we go. to get more videos like and you can see them popping up. Now another feature as well is that you don't have to have them all pop up at the same time. Now I can take this one here and I can have this one pop up there. And I can have this one up here there like so. So if I come back here and click on preview Already again. A subscriber, make sure to click the link so I can right have that pop up when I want. Then that one pop up, pops up shortly afterwards. Feels like this every and then I can have another one there as well. And I can also shorten these as well. So I can have it appear and disappear if I like to. But we'll leave them like that. And to save all our changes, we click on the save button there and our end screen is ready to go. So there you go, that is the brand new end card editor, which allows you to add brand new end cards or end slates to your YouTube videos. And as you can see, you can only use this instead of annotations, you cannot use annotations as well. So if you're using annotations, you can now swap these out with these brand new end cards. As we see, this is in beta, so it is being rolled out to a number of channels across YouTube and eventually every single channel will have it. Now, if you have this new feature on your YouTube channel, let me know in the old comments below how you are using it. And if you don't, let me know how you would like to use it. Now, if you're a business and you want to get the most out of YouTube, make sure to head on over to davidwalshonline.com where we have a number of products and services for your video marketing needs. Or you can just click the little eye icon and the top corner to be whisked over there straight away. Alternatively, make sure to like, share and favorite this video. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure to click the link right there to get more videos like this every week. Also as well, make sure to click one of these links to help you further with YouTube. My name is David Walsh from davidwalshonline.com. I look forward to seeing you over there or on another video very soon. Bye for now.